Hello, how you doing? Peach McIntyre got into a fight. Now, can you believe that? Can you believe that she got into a fight? I thought that conversation was over with me. You know, I, I really did because... Um, now, look, yours truly got into her fair, fair share of fights, okay? In middle school and high school, I had to deal with primitive black girls in Appalachia. Just had to deal with them. And, it, and if you got to deal with them, you got to deal with them or run. And I wasn't going to run and be a coward. So I had to deal with them. Just fight them. Get it over with. But those girls were primitive. They weren't ladylike girls, you know, that knit, sew, crochet, cook. Do any of the feminine uh, crafts, you know, knit, crochet, uh, cook, nothing like that. They just looking for a fight. Uh, what do you call them? Knuckle draggers. They literally, literally were knuckle draggers. I met, I knew a lot of, I uh, hung around. A lot of those girls in middle school and high school were knuckle draggers. They always looking for a fight. Always trying to act like men. And I kind of thought this conversation was over with, even dealing with them, but evidently it's not. Um, and I know YouTube has videos of women fighting either in the neighborhood or in Walmart or at a convenience store or on a bus or on subway I, or, you know, the subway system. I know that. I mean, but I just thought the conversation was, was over with, but I guess not. Okay. But, you know, I don't go to Peach McIntyre's channel too often. I haven't gone over there in the months. Uh, but in the last month, I just, just go look at that for a few seconds to see what's going on in her channel. It's just nothing to see there. It's just nothing to see there. No inspiration, no nothing. And, uh, you know, I can't bear to, to, to watch more than five seconds anyway, anyway of her videos. But anyway, um... That fight just shocked me, and the video was right after it just shocked me. Uh, don't you think that she is too old for that? And furthermore, she has children. What's a woman with children doing fighting? What is a woman so-called married, or even in her 30s, what's she doing fighting? That conversation should be over with. See, her problem is that she's idle. She's real idle. She says she don't like to cook or clean or do any of the necessary things that you would have to do when you have children. She don't like to do hair or nothing. Just do, you, you know what? When you are a mother, you're going to have to do some things that's going to make you uncomfortable. That's going to get into your routine. And she doesn't understand that. Okay? So she, rather than cook a kid's a, de a decent meal, you can get the recipe book she cooks her kids slop because she don't feel like cooking but anyway okay now look you have to give black women a break when black women are self-employed you have to give them a break when they own their hair own hair salon their own daycare center or their own cab service you got to give them a break because they have to make that money we have to hustle for every dollar Black women, we got to hustle for every dollar. And you got to give them a break. Well, Pete should have said, I'll talk to you next week. I'll make an appointment next week. The girl told her that she was overbooked or she just, she couldn't do her that day. What Pete should have done no, was just text her and say, look, I'll call you next week. But what does Peach do? Go over there, make a fool of herself, talk about wigs. And the girl gives her, they fight, the girl gives her a black eye. <laughs> Now, that's primitive. That's primitive behavior. You, first of all, like I said, you got to give black women a break when they are self-employed. You just do. You got to give black women a break when they are self-employed because they have to fight for every dollar. All Peach had to say was, I'll call you next week. I'll make an appointment. I mean, her hair ain't going to get no worse, y'all. I'll just make an appointment for next week. There's no way I would... Any, any civilized individual to go into a salon and argue about an appointment. Now, what the word does she tell her children this, why she has a black eye? Okay, a woman, black woman beat her up. <laughs> What's she going to say? This behavior is very shocking and very primitive. It just is. Bye.